It's TP in the place to be, man. Y'all go ahead and slap the like button, man. Go ahead and hit um, subscribe if you haven't already. We finna go ahead and get into it, man. Today, we talking about Sauce Walker versus Go Yayo. Um, they've been having a beef going on for a few years. That beef has essentially, you know, it, it's finally got to a point where they finally gonna squabble. Um, so the, the, the background details was in 2021, at some point in time, Murder Game PB, Go Yayo, and people from they, they Camp, Went down to Houston just to kick it for a couple of days. Um, ended up getting shot at, and one of their homies ended up passing away while they were down there. According to the new interview that Goyeo had said, Sauce Walker had called him right after this happened, saying, hey, you still on the south side? We finna bring that drink to you. When Goyeo was like, nah, I ain't on the south side. I'm on I-45. Mind you, if all this stuff just transpired, how would Sauce Walker know where Goyeo is with him without him telling him first? first red flag that made it seem kind of fishy so then after that after that you know that houston trip they came back to fort worth and go yeah yo dropped the video in that video he was saying sauce be on some ho shit or on some weak shit um whenever that happened whenever go yeah yo dropped that video everybody was wondering like what do you mean like what's going on what are the details um and then of course tsf started beefing with hood fame and they had a very big beef that 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 has been pretty much going on for years. Goyeo went to prison maybe a few months after this happened, and that's the reason where that's the reason why the beef had kind of ceased for some years. You know, recently bro had got out of prison and he got an inter he had an interview with Sean Cotton where he was voicing what his opinion was, giving his take on it. Now my I ain't gonna lie, I this is something I gotta say, man. The internet is seeming like a real gay place right now. Like a real, real, real gay place. Because when all this was going on, when it was just two men trying to fight, Go Yale from Fort Worth, Sauce Walker from Houston, you know, it was some folks saying, hey, y'all need to go ahead and squabble. Y'all need to go ahead and squabble. Meanwhile, we never got any confirmation from Sauce Walker that he wanted to squabble. Mind y'all, I was listening. So if y'all can find him saying, let's squabble, after Go Yale said that, then go ahead and drop that drop that video in the um in the comments if you have a video of him saying that. Because I never heard it. I never saw it. I was waiting on it, to be honest with you. You know, at the time when it was all going on, I'm really kind of split in between a Sauce Walker and a Go Yale fan. I'm from Fort Worth. My mama was born in Fort Worth. My daddy was born in Houston. So really, I ain't, I'm really not too attached to one side over the other one. I'm looking at it objectively. You know, I don't, it don't matter if Sauce Walker was doing more of the real behavior and Goyeo was was acting like a little, you know, a hoe, then I would just call it like it is because it just is what it is. I, I don't look at no man like I'm going a, I'm to a disguise your behavior because I'm, I like you better. So whenever Sauce Walker wasn't trying to squabble and never agreed to squabble, he was like doing all, yeah, I got all this money and jewelry and diamonds and all that shit. And there was so many people defending, we got all this money, he rich and he all that, that, that. When have men ever looked at another man's money and thought that that meant everything? Like, he ain't never gave you a dollar out of his pocket, but you talking about his money as if that's going to, like, that should mean that he don't, like, I mean, ain't, ain't he a gangster rapper? Am I, like, ain't he a gangster rapper? Ain't he big blood? Ain't gangsters going to fight? Aren't they going, ain't they supposed to not turn down fades? So all these years of, I ain't going to fight him, kind of look pussy to me. Because we in Texas, clearly, nigga, anybody can reach over and go grab a couple guns. That shit is that shit is easy, bro. Like that shit is really easy when you're from Texas, bro. You can't really name nobody who you know though who don't got a gun. So when it's time to put those down, because we know it can get real violent easily. I mean, that's in Texas culture, bro. We've been fighting, bro. You go to East Texas, West Texas, you getting them hands put on you. Like, so it's kind of weird when somebody from Texas decide oh yeah well I, well I ain't gonna fight i'm getting too much money and things like that and for people to literally listen to his music but let that shit slide that's that's gay to me bro that's so fucking gay you talking gangster shit you popping some sizzle you talking about young thug drug rich peso bosco 100 nigga none of them niggas we feel can whoop yeah yo so when you talk about all them four five states away man my nigga i mean 12 hours worth of driving plus it don't make no sense, nigga. I done taken Houston trips and back, nigga, in a day. 
There's no way you ain't gonna, there's no way if you really want it to happen, you're not just gonna make it happen. So for me, you know, this new emerging details, they, uh, Sauce Walker said he agreed or something like that. Why it take you this long to agree? Oh, I know why. Because the first day I watched this video, the Goyeo interview, everybody doing doing gay ass, gay ass comments, bro. You, you you know you ain't had to been in, you know you couldn't have been in the mix listening to what's going on because you gonna give Yayo his points because all he's saying is I'm not even just trying to just shoot it out. He did say, and I'm gonna say it, he did say, I mean, we can fight, do this, and take it there. Which that should not be really how you how you handle that situation if Sauce Walker decides to fight you. If he decides to fight you, you gotta leave it there in the ring. But also with the new emerging details, they're trying to have the, the, the fight happen in Houston. That's giving Sauce Walker home field advantage. It don't even have to be somebody from his camp. It could be somebody from Houston who kind of aligns with Sauce Walker who will try to blow the place down after it happened. So I don't think even Houston's a smart place to do it. Nobody ever even said that. When Cully was talking about punching for positivity, Everybody was saying, why don't y'all meet in Dallas? Why don't y'all meet in Austin? Why don't y'all meet in... Bruh, there's so many different places y'all can meet in Texas where y'all can really get it in and it's not no home field advantage where y'all out of bounds. But for Sauce Walker to finally say he gonna squabble all these years later after the beef done came and went, nigga done went to jail and back and he out and he done been popping it a little bit. For him to realize the internet is finally on Goyeo's side and to now squabble this man, that looks so fucking weak to me. You need all these people... To, to, to get you gassed up so you can fight one man who has been four hours away this whole time, nigga. No, uh-uh. No, bro. No, and what bugged me about this shit is I really listen to Sauce Walker and I really listen to Go Yayo, bro. Like, I really listen to these men whenever they made some music. Like, I'm not listening to them like, I'm looking at you like you a father figure to a nigga, but I'm listening to you like, okay, you, okay, you about your shit. You gonna pop your shit and you, gonna, and you willing to kind of thump it out yeah, and you gonna squabble and you gonna box it out. The weirdest part is you talking about fighting all these random people and setting up boxing matches with random people, niggas we don't even give a fuck about. It's one man, one name on that motherfucking list that we care about and we want to see that shit. That man is from Texas, bro. It's going to set a precedence when two men who are bosses of their own clique can squabble it out. That's all I'm saying. And for everybody who go, go Yeo's attitude and go Yeo's attitude, Sauce Walker be yelling and arguing with rappers all the time. Drake, Young Thug, nigga, uh, RX Peso. He even tried to act like he was fake, talking about like Takeoff should have been with us and not Jay Prince. He talking about all types of rappers and got an attitude too and be all boist boisterous and boastful. So I don't really see the difference between Go Yayo and Sauce Walker other than the fact that Sauce Walker has more money. That's it. Like, I don't get it. Y'all tell me something. I saw the video with Sauce Walker years and years ago fighting at the uh at the uh 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 Galleria. Little lad nigga, little lad nigga, we saw that video. But we also saw Goyeo fight Spud Boom, and we also been seeing him willing to get out there with plenty of different rappers. So I'm not gonna overly gas one side up and say, well, this nigga is super gangster. He gonna kill him. No, um, I'm gonna let y'all squabble it out and we're gonna be able to see who wins after that. My money is gonna go on Yayo. That's because Gil Yeo has been talking about fighting this whole time. It ain't been one point this man has dropped it. To the point where this new interview they just made, he's still talking about it. And that's why everybody was, four years of all this, and you didn't realize that your attitude is getting in the way. Sauce Walker is not just a very humble man. He doesn't have attitudes. If anybody got any qualms and want to get in my comment box with that bullshit, I can drop videos and, and make a video of all the times he done argue with rappers on the internet. Ain't nothing happened. He ain't touched Young Thug. He didn't go to Atlanta not one moment to go touch that man. Drug Rich Peso. That man came to Houston and he dapped him up. Found, found out where he was at and dapped him up. Didn't even touch this man. Maxo Cream. One of the squabble sauce. And ain't no squabbling. Rizzo, Rizzo, little, little ass, bro. Come on, my, my, come on, bro. Y'all name one gangster feet, bro. One gangster feet, bro. That one. And if it's one gangster feet, and I done named ten fluky feet. Now you should now it really seem like y'all being gay, bro. And y'all can all oh, y'all can try to. You're mad. Y'all gay in the bitch, nigga. Y'all really be getting online talking about shit 
Like, I, I agree, gangster shit shouldn't be online. But when niggas start talking about gangster shit and making the pussy action seem gangster, that shit be crazy. Like, it really do be crazy, bro. Like, I look at you niggas different, bro. And clearly, Sauce Walker not finna shoot nobody down. You you got millions and millions of dollars. You're a multi multi-millionaire. So, why don't you just put the guns down for a moment, squabble it out since you like that and you're a boxer and you love watching boxing? I mean, you even argue with Cameron and Mace about boxing being a sport and how all the sportiness in the boxing. Well, why don't you go squabble go yayo because he's been talking about that. He's been talking about the sport and the boxing and the, and the, the sport of the boxing and the boxing of the sport. All that shit, nigga. God damn. It, and, it, and it made me mad, bro, because like I said, my dad is from Houston, bro. You making Houston look bad to me. Like, you making it look bad, bro. This is one man from Fort Worth. It's less people in Fort Worth, gang. I'm from there. It's not that many people compared to Houston. So, I would assume, you know, there's more people out there. And you a fighter and you ain't ducking no phase. I'm sure you just punching on everybody. It's millions of people. It should be all types of niggas with belt lashes on their ass, nigga. But... For some strange reason, there's one man who just, who, who, nah, I'm not going to get him any money. And if he's broke for the rest of his life, I'm cool with that. You clearly, when you get money and you really, really get money and you make it multi-million dollars and all that shit, you already going to understand him fighting you is not going to give him a multi-million dollar. Uh, it's not going to give him tens of millions of dollars. He's still going to have to hustle to get that money. And the real only way he going to really cloud up off your name is by beating your ass. So it kind of seemed like even you were a little bit nervous about that. But that's my take on the situation, man. I was looking in the comment box day one after after that video dropped, and I mean, everybody was... Yale's having a hard time dealing with accountability. This is not an interview, it's an intervention. And then folks finally came back, and I even seen Cully video finally kind of like addressing the information and the situation as it should be. Bro, Sauce Walker, you've been up there. You've been making money. You've been driving around the Rolls Royces. You were doing that back whenever Go Yayo first argued with you. If you got four more cars, ten more cars, you still had a Rolls Royce in a big mansion. So you were already having some money, and you was already acting like it was just, just easy to go ahead and fight with the man. But you never made it happen. On top of that, you just did, you did some random ass, weird ass shit coming to Fort Worth, driving around right next to your fucking car. Get... Here we are right now, uh, 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 Polly, Texas, and, uh, uh, nigga, hop back in like 6'9", nigga. Fuck out of here. That shit weak as fuck, my nigga. I'm just saying, bro. Like, God damn, bro, you really embarrassing yourself. And everybody who's greenlighting, you show how pussy they are. Only a pussy nigga gonna, gonna greenlight some pussy shit. Cause, the, the, cause you would do even something else a little bit more gangster than them. So they gonna, oh, yeah, you, you like that. Man, I say, man, I say. Internet's a weird ass place right now, man. Weird ass place. Well, that is some gay shit. Why are they worried about his money and his diamonds, nigga? I don't know. The nigga ain't gave y'all a dime, bro. I'm at, I'm just talking to one of my employees. He he. Oh, that is kind of weird. Oh, you niggas different. If that nigga say y'all gay, y'all niggas gay. Get the fuck out my damn shit, man. I'm gonna get at y'all in the next one, man. Y'all go ahead and hit the like button, man. Go and subscribe, man. Let me know how you feel about the situation, man. Let me know if you've been tapping in. With everything going on. If you haven't, go to Is Cully channel. Go watch what's been going on. And then come back over here. Go go years ago, three years ago. Watch some videos with Sauce Walk and Go Yayo and everything in between. And then come back over here and let me know what's really been going on. Because I, I know what it is, man. Man, I, like I said, man, I'm going to get a ton of the next one, man. Y'all stay out the way. This shit got to be hot.